the CEO of JEA dodging our camera and making no comment on what would be one of the biggest steps in the utility's history going private. I can't believe you're not going to talk to the viewer, sir. That's Chief Executive Aaron Zahn moments after the board voted unanimously to explore privatizing the utility. JEA says it's losing money as more people are conserving and finding alternative ways to get power and is facing a threat of employee layoffs. News 4 Jax reporter Jim Piggott covered this dramatic meeting and tried to get answers from Zahn. He's joining us live downtown. Jim? Lots of questions for Aaron Zahn, particularly now that layoffs are off the table, what are the options? And I wanted to ask him about privatization. Is that the same as selling, which is something that voters and the city council gave a resounding no to last year? There was a lot of information the board heard today about the future of JEA, and then it voted unanimously to go with its plan called an untraditional approach in order to save money. One of those options include privatizing, which could have an outside firm or utility run JEA. I tried to get CEO Aaron Zahn to explain why that. Sir, I think it's important because I really look forward to. I know you look forward. That's exciting, but you can't tell us why this isn't. Aaron, Aaron, it's. I think we're on schedule to catch up with you shortly, so look forward. But, sir, I don't know why you. Why won't you talk with us? I am, gonna, I am talking with you. No, they won't. Like I said, they, I'm looking forward to catching up with you. You keep saying that, but we're talking about privatizing JEA. I think it's important. I think you ought to tell the viewers. You're, you haven't scheduled anything with us, so what do you mean? I've asked to talk. And they, Gina in, uh, she, she, Gina said that, she said that she said you scheduled you. three we'll interviews, schedule, we'll schedule and I asked her first. I can't believe you're not going to talk to the viewers, sir. The board's exploring what to do next. Layoffs are now off the table. I did talk to board member Alan Howard, who was the former chairman. He says the steps today are just a start and emphasize no one is proposing to sell JEA. Well, I don't know why anybody seems surprised by this, Jim. We've, we've been talking about this for months. The, the fact of the matter is that the industry has dramatically changed. And with that change comes a lot of pressure on JEA's ability to continue to deliver high value, high quality service to our customers. In the resolution approved, it spells out a number of steps that must be met if another company steps in. Those include guarantees of employees' pensions, no rate increase for three years, and customers would get a rebate of sorts of about $350. There are many other guarantees for the city as well. Mayor Curry's out of town this week. He did issue this statement about the board's action. I welcome their wisdom and expertise. As a publicly owned asset, the value of JEA is built on the investment of taxpayers. He went on to say, Jacksonville's taxpayers are co-owners of the utility and must have a voice in the future of their investment. Lots are wondering what happens next. Well, this is still all in the hands of JEA as they come up with a plan per se, and it could take a while for them to do that. But again, many people are saying they're not surprised by today's action. We're live downtown, Jim Pickett, Channel 4, the local station. So Jim, what are the unions saying about this? <laughs> There were plenty of union members on hand today. Uh, they were relieved, obviously, that the layoffs were going to take place, but they do have concerns about privatization. Coming up at 6, we're going to hear from them. Plus, we'll hear from the city council what the member, the liaison with the council and JEA, has to say about all of this. All right, Jim Pickett reporting to us live downtown. Thank you, Jim.